Hi everyone, it's James here from Production Expert, back with another gear review. This time, a rack mounted EQ in the form of the Neve 8803. This is a dual channel or stereo EQ, and it's based on the EQ modules you find in the Neve 88RS console, hence the 88 part of the name. This thing is quite frankly awesome. Now I know I said that about most things I try. I'm a very lucky boy, what can I say? So what we'll do is we will show you up close and personal around the front, around the back. That bit won't take long because there's not a great deal to see. And then we're going to put this thing to work. Now I've got a track I've been working on. In fact, it was a track from a previous review. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the bass the acoustic guitars, a stereo spread, the vocal, and then the entire mix through the 8803 EQ. So you can see what I'm doing, more importantly, hear what I'm doing, and hopefully you can hear the tonal sculpting abilities of this thing. So let's dive right in and show you around the 8803 dual channel EQ from Neve. So as I said, the 8803 is a dual channel EQ, meaning that we have two sides that are pretty much exactly the same. We start off with our signal indicators. Now if I send some signal in, you'll see they light up, and if I drive it too hard, we get the clip light come on. I can engage the EQ with this bypass button, and then I have plus and minus 20 dB of input trim. Very, very powerful. I then have two filters, a high pass and a low pass. The high pass goes from 30 to 300 hertz and the low pass from 1.5K to 18K. We then have our four bands of EQ, the low frequency gain and the low frequency frequency selection. And we can either have that as a bell curve or as a shelf. We then have the low mid frequency section, which gives us our gain part, frequency selection, and Q. High mid, again, gain, frequency, and Q. It's inverted this time. And we have our high frequency section. Again, we have the gain, frequency selection, and we can make it a shelf, and we can sharpen the Q if we want to. And this is repeated on the right-hand side of the unit. So we have channel one, and channel two. We also have the rather beautifully lit up Neve logo, which is our main power button. Around the back of the 8803, we have the inputs for both channels one and two via Neutrik XLR combi jacks, outputs via XLR or quarter inch jack, and the USB input for USB control and recall. Very, very sweet. Sadly, the 8803 has an external power supply which connects via this DIN plug socket in the corner. I'm no fan of external power supplies. I understand why they do it. Uh, it keeps costs down and it also makes the predominantly failable part, if that's a real word, it keeps it outside the box. But I'm still no fan. They make racking up these things an absolute pain in the you know where power supplies do not rack well. Okay, so we are going to start with the bass channel, and I'm not going to talk, you're just going to see what I'm doing and how I'm dialing in the tone. Thank you. 
So moving on to the acoustic guitar track, this is a stereo part. It's a hard left and hard right double tracked part. Uh, let's see what we can do with the 8803 EQ. Okay, next up we're going to look at the lead vocal part. So let's play this one back and tweak the EQ as we pass through. I called you up. Are you home? Because the lights are on. It's cold outside. I'm standing here. All alone I don't know what it is I'm supposed to be When all I am is what you want from me I saw you at the door who was he? I think you know what you mean to me But now I'll go So our final audio example is using the 8803 EQ on our master bus. This is our effectively our mix EQ or our mastering EQ. Here goes. So I love the sound of this EQ. I love the sound of the 88RS EQ, and that's why I like this thing. It's very powerful, and you can really dig in if you want to and get quite extreme with the EQ, but it's not overbearing. It's not super harsh in the top end. Yes, you can drive in some of that, should we call it warm mids? We can drive the bass to ridiculous extremes if we want to, but it doesn't take over. It's quite... 
subtle in its character. It's a beautiful sounding EQ. It's exactly what I want when I'm messing around with tone shaping. For me, I really like what this thing did to bass. I love what it does to vocals. Um, it's not designed as a stereo mastering EQ, but I think it works really well in that capacity. Yes, the knobs and dials are quite small for a mastering, um, mastering levels of accuracy, shall we say, but it works and it sounds fantastic. So for pricing and all that sort of stuff, check down there in the Production Expert story. If you're watching this directly on YouTube, do make sure you go back to Production Expert to check out all the details in the main body of the story. But for now, my name's James Ivey, and I'll see you again very soon for some more Gear Talk.